Hello, big tiger. <laughs> Blake is one of 14 big cats that call Fort Pierce home, yes. but not for long. Wilma is kind of the push us over the edge. And Susan Steffens takes care of these cats and is one of the founders of the Tigers for Tomorrow Sanctuary. Hey, Neekers. Hey, Neekers. What are you doing? You see how agile she is. The sanctuary evacuated the animals for Hurricanes Francis and Jean, but stayed during Wilma. You're wondering if you're going to have to take action with one of your own animals should they get out, because our first responsibility is towards the community. Evacuating for every storm is expensive, rebuilding is expensive, and the stress the hurricanes have on the animals is too much. Hello, Bear Bear. Bear last year actually was one of the worst cases with stress after the hurricane. Um, we actually were not sure if he had a brain tumor or what was going on, but he would collapse every time he got excited. Steffens is taking over another sanctuary northeast of Birmingham, Alabama. Her animals will join 11 other big cats on 140 acres. <laughs> The move allowed her to take in this new addition just last week. We got a call that a young cub needed to be rescued or a place to live. Luna outgrew her job in the entertainment industry. The animals here are also from private owners, even exotic auctions. That was a good burp. <laughs> a burp from six-week-old Tinkerbell, who will grow up in Alabama where Stefan says she'll be able to rescue more exotic animals and provide them with a safer space.